At ease, Sergeant. Have a seat. You, uh, you want some coffee, son? It's fresh. <laughs> no, as fresh as it gets around here. Yes, sir. I haven't had a good cup of coffee in three or four days now. It smells great. Thank you, sir. Name and rank? Sergeant Joe Hartsock, sir. Uh, well, everyone calls me Red. So how long is this going to take? Sir, I'd just like to get back to my men. Second? Sir? You and your men are in second squad, correct? Oh, yes, sir. Second took heavy losses in Carrington. I was with third at the time. Under Sergeant Matthew Baker? Sort of, yes, sir. Sort of? We were promoted less than 20 days apart. Carantan seems so minor next to what happened in St. Savor. And your first objective as a sergeant was taking St. Savor? Yes, sir. How did the drop go? So much smoke and fire, we didn't even see Musa. Musa? He was the last in the stick. He took a piece of flak in the chest. He was dead before we even noticed he was on the floor. We just left him in the plane. Can we talk about something else, sir? All right. Tell me what happened after you landed in Normandy. It wasn't the smoothest jump ever. <laughs> I was picking branches out of my ass for a day or so afterward. Who did you link up with first? There was a guy from 82nd I found nearby, Doyle. He took out the crowd, the, the German who was trying to kill me. Then we found Paddock from 2nd. Well, my squad after that. It was just the three of us at first. Then we found Cole. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Cole? Yes, sir. Hell of a soldier. Love to use the Lord's name in vain, though. My wife really hates that. Das kann nicht wahr sein! Das kann nicht... Scheiße! Scheiße! Sorry about that first shot. Thank me for the second one later. For now, I guess it's just you and me. Better get your rifle out of your leg bag so we can get moving. So you followed Lieutenant Colonel Cassidy to his command post? Yes, sir. I was trying to get word on Baker's location. I guess I got a little sidetracked. How so? Well, in my experiences in the Army, sir, if you stand around long enough, someone will send you somewhere. And it's never a nice somewhere. Hey, Corporal, you fall asleep? I scouted up ahead. We're in a bit of a pickle here. The good news is I managed to find a few of my boys from 82nd. Still trying to round them up to make the big push towards St. Savour. This isn't even our sector. Yeah, you're supposed to be off finding some castle on the road to Cherbourg. Well, there's the bad news. They're banged up pretty bad. Without any medical supplies, it's not looking good. Corporal, Sergeant Bixby from 2nd Squad was killed this morning in the drop. Private, uh... Uh, Fryer, sir. Fryer here was with him. I was told that Krauts have a makeshift Kraut aid station in the church in St. Martin. Bring all the bandages and plasma you can find. We need it now, Corporal. These men can't wait. Hot sock. Save my friends.
Red, Cassidy sent three of us down here to help secure the area. That shelling gave us quite a scare. Looks like he already secured it. Yeah, I see that. Well, the Colonel also sends word that Mac is on the road to exit four. We'll bring the supplies back, Red. You go on ahead. So you didn't tell Sergeant Baker any of this when you linked up with him? Why not? I told him I had a rough morning. Why didn't you report all of this to him? He... He had this look on his face when I caught up with him. Like anything I said would topple him. It wasn't the Baker any of us remembered. Unless, of course, they find us. Is that red? I didn't see any of the guys again until later that evening. We linked back up with the last of second squad. Corporal Doyle was still looking for men from his unit. From the 82nd? He was a long way from his objective in St. Savore. Yes, sir. Well, I was a long way from Carentan. Sir. This was just after you, Sergeant Baker, Private Allen, and Private Garnett cleared out an entire platoon in Fookerville? You must have been pretty tired by then. I don't remember the last time I wasn't, sir. Sounds like you boys had quite a crowd for this mission. Yeah. Those half tracks were pulling 88s into town. We don't actually know where they're going. So we had to split up and pinch them between us. Red, you had to lead a patrol. Cory and Desola, you're with me. Great. Not now, Sam. Yeah, not now, Sam. And you get to babysit these two. Oh, shit. Asshole. Your mouth is too big. Every goddamn day I say it, your mouth is too big. You could fit a bass in Red, there. Red, just remember all the stuff we went over. Put fire on them before you make your move. Fix them, then flank them. That's the key. No one dies today! Well, that's good news then. Oh shit, I did it Mass again. Mass patrol didn't is I? coming in from the other side of town. We'll all meet back together after it's done. We've got work to do. Looks oh, like we only took out 188. I can't get there! Got the it. second one turned tail before we could really get at it. What the hell happened to you? I tripped. We need to get out of here. We spent most of the night near a village called Highsville. After some rummaging, I found a BAR in the back of a crashed glider. It belonged to a guy named Hartigan. How do you know that? He was holding it. It's amazing how few dead bodies you have to see before it stops affecting you. There's no way we're getting this out! Seems Baker's all too willing to send us out on these wild goose chases. Would it kill him to give What's us a map? Baker anyway? Always seems to be alone, staring off and shit. He's always been like that. We play baseball or whatever in England? Not Baker. I don't think we're getting that hunk of crap out of the mud anytime soon. Think of something fast before they realize where we are. Where the hell is Alan? He never misses a Baker goose He's stuck unloading trucks for the push into St. Com de Mont. He's on Mac's shit list. Actually, I think he is Max Follow the gunfire! That's how you can always find us! Got word you guys are on your way. Colonel Johnson sent me to find you. Germans! Krauts are attacking the locks and tore us to pieces with some damn mortar fire. Here comes a supply drop. Mark the supplies with smoke. We'll pick them up later. You'll rendezvous with the Colonel on the other side of the locks. Good luck, Red. Mama said to come home alive. Paige, what are you doing? She said don't let those sons of bitches take you out. Paige. Did you hear what I said? Paige, I come on. I called you a son of Paige, a bitch. Paige, what the hell are you doing? Back off. Go talk to your men, Corporal. Night mission? Night mission.
The 101st was massing up for the big push up the causeway. Sergeant Hassey sent me with three guys to check out a bomb chateau. We needed it for an aid station. I had De Sola, Allen, and Garnett. Were there any other sergeants or officers around? No, it was just us. Stragglers were showing up all the time, but 3rd Platoon lost half its sergeants the first day. I guess that expedited my promotion. This would have been a nice little house if we hadn't bombed the holy shit out of it. Just recon, right? I don't know, DeSola. Every time I hear the word scout or recon, I bring extra ammo. Just seems like it's never over. What? Just thinking out loud. Well, I don't know about you, Alan, but I ain't getting shot over a stupid chateau. Let's get moving. What's wrong? Alan and Garnett died the next morning. The soul was the day after. Do you need a minute? Sergeant Hartsart. Do you need a minute? No, sir. I'm fine. Let's keep going. Hop in the back, guys! Have we ever made it down a road without a squad of crowds opening fire? Which brings us to Hill 30. Sergeant Baker did a good job on that line. Must have been one hell of a fight. Baker didn't save us. Excuse me, Sergeant? Sorry, sir. What I mean is, I've been hearing a lot of talk around here that Baker saved us at Hill 30. Bringing in the 2nd Armored Division at all. That's not what happened. I mean, right now! Leggett saved us. Just no one wants to talk about it. Why is that, Sergeant? Save me! He somehow managed to reach HQ on the radio. They sent the tanks. I can't confirm that. I thought Private Leggett's radio wasn't working. He couldn't receive, sir, but he was transmitting. And Sergeant Baker? He loved being in the thick of it. Every time I turned around in Normandy, I'd been knocked out by artillery or mortar or some damn thing. Yeah, he earned his stripes. And so did the rest of us. And I do mean earned. Baker got quite a scar. Is yours from that battle, too? How dare you touch my wife! Can we just talk about Hill 30, sir? How intense would you say the fighting was? Christ! You're not moving! Hurtsock! There's just too many of them! You have to cut off their reinforcements on the left flank or we're all dead! Get your ass back here! We can't hold the line all goddamn day! It looks pretty bad, son! Get moving! How to do it, Hunsuck! This is when you were promoted to sergeant, correct? After you took Carentan? Yes, sir. Had a little ceremony at the base of the church but it was cut short by German mortar fire coming from the south side of town. There was still some resistance? Who was with you? Well, I had Paddock, Fryer, and Marsh from 2nd Squad. There were also some 1st Squad guys that Mac picked up after the drop. They got folded into 2nd. Campbell, Page, and McConnell. Those mortars are coming from the train yard about a block away. Red, you go down the alley behind those houses and push through. We'll swing around the other side. 
I'd been promoted maybe an hour before, but it still felt like I was following Baker around. It was probably for the best at the time. How much more resistance did you encounter? Mostly just the pockets of scared crowds that fled during the assault on the train yards. It wasn't easy to find them in all those back alleys and side streets. It's hard to imagine people lived in half the places we were standing on. McCrary, stay with them! All right, we're going to attack at two separate routes and meet back at the plaza. No point in wasting a bunch of words. Let's just get this done. It went in and out, I think. Crouch weren't supposed to shoot at me. Little bastards. Ah, hurts like a son of a bitch. Bopped. Shit, that was a rough day for me, sir. Pardon my French. That town was supposed to be the link-up for the 82nd and the 101st. The last stop on the road to St. Savore. Hell, we walked in expecting to see some airborne. We barely made it to the edge of town before the Germans hit us with a Panzerschreck on the bridge. And from there it got bad. Crouch are just appearing left and right! Right there's a jack left! Three more there! Near the train track! Fix you up, Red. Just hang in there. Look it. Just hang in there. That explains the damage. Figures the only married man in the squad would be ring for the We ain't got time here for something pretty. Briar, just rat the damn Why are you yelling at me, Kansas boy? Fire at the fucking Germans! Can you fire a weapon? Sarge, can you fire a weapon? I wouldn't ask if we didn't have crowds up our ass. Gotta wonder what the odds were I'd find you again. I see you're a sergeant now. You too, huh? We're moving up fast. Did you see... Jesus Christ, Red! What happened to your finger? Shit, you should have that looked at. You know, I'm not entirely sure yet. It happened real fast. A lot of gunfire. I'll buy you whiskey when we get back to England, so you can forget all about it. It's really not that much of my finger. Really, sir. You're lucky they didn't send you home. If you'd lost another inch, they probably would have. I go home when we all go home. Sir. I wrote a letter. I wrote my wife. Trying to explain what happened. I gave up. I couldn't do it. I couldn't find any words to explain days like that. The closest I got to being injured so far is some cuts from those damn trees I dropped through. Count your blessings and hang on to them. Looks like we're moving out to St. Savoy to complete our main objective. Gotta clear the way so the infantry can take Cherbourg. You hunting first boys have fun playing guard duty while the real men go to work. I'm sure we'll be saving your asses up there in St. Savore. Not like you won't need it. Why'd you say that, Paddock? Because the 82nd always needs saving. <sighs> well, I better get moving. You boys keep your heads down. After me and the 82nd kills Hitler and ends this war, we'll get that whiskey back in England. And I like whiskey. Ah, Lieutenant Colonel Cassidy. That means we're going out on patrol again. Sir? Sir? As you were, those German bastards that retreated from Bopt have taken up some strong positions in the hedgerows south of town. Now you boys are gonna go out there and eliminate any threat you encounter. Get your gear and move out. And don't forget to use your TNT to make a path through the hedgerows. See? Told you. Good job out there, boys. You put up a hell of a good fight. Take these captured German plans to the 82nd. They're about to attack the town of Saint Savore. These should help them out. 
Make sure they know the 101st found them. See? Told you. Yeah, yeah. Can I speak candidly, sir? Of course, Sergeant. Well, me and Baker, way before even one of us made Sergeant, used to joke about how jumping in a squad of 13's bad luck. That's a bit juvenile, don't you think, Sergeant? Well, we were all so young then, sir. We even went so far as to paint a 13 on the back of our helmets. Basically saying if fate wants us, fate can have us. Like we weren't afraid. But we were. Seeing De Solo like that. I was afraid, sir. I guess you could say I changed my mind at that point. Changed your mind? Yeah. I decided fate couldn't have me. Or anyone else. Was this around the time when you were promoted to sergeant? It was around the time I started to act like one. There was one person who was going to get me home safely to my family. And it wasn't Baker. It was me. Then why did you go to St. Savoy to fight? Because I wasn't going to let the same thing happen to Doyle. So you knew going into St. Savoy you were going to stay and fight? Yeah. We were told to deliver the maps, but on the way we all decided we'd stay. Paddock especially. He believed in the objective. He wouldn't stop about the 4th Infantry needing us to clear the way to Cherbourg. How we needed to clear out the damn 88 so the tanks could get through. Funny thing was, the maps didn't say anything about 88s. Paddock just guessed the Germans would need to put them there to protect the area. Was he right? Yes, sir. Damn nice job, Red. Damn nice job. Wanna stick around for a bit? We're short-handed around here. Need all the men we can muster. All right, I'll leave you with the tank, but I'm gonna need a few of your men for the main assault. I'll go with you. All right, that's one. I'm with you. Well, I'm going if Paige is going. If anyone's gonna shoot him, it's gonna be me. You guys are gonna go down the right flank and focus on the mill. Keep the crowds inside. That should allow us to take that bridge. Let's go. And watch out for the 88. So you had to dig the Germans out of St. Savour? Yeah, we realized once we actually got to the castle just how much digging we had to do. We got there and the whole damn place was destroyed. Everything was pretty much gone, except the castle. Like a fortress on a hill. Well, that's what St. Savour was, Sergeant. The fortress on the hill. Holy shit, look at this place. You sure this is where we're supposed to be? We must have bombed it to flesh out the Germans, but since they haven't exactly packed up and left, I'm guessing they're not just gonna hand it over. That's the mission. Sorry, boys. Well, I guess if you guys are all feeling crazy enough to go in there, then I am too. We said we'd help you out and all, but Christ almighty, Doyle. We go in there, we aren't coming back out. Then it was a pleasure knowing you all. Whoever makes it to the other side alive, wins. It's amazing how quickly we lost control of the situation. You did well, Sergeant. You helped accomplish a very important objective. If the 82nd had failed in St. Savoy, taking Cherbourg would have been a pipe dream. Something wrong, Sergeant? It's just that I believed I could succeed where I thought Baker had failed. But I couldn't. I failed Doyle. No, you didn't, sir. 
you did exactly what needed to be done. Exactly. And so did Sergeant Doyle. It's something to be proud of. That was five days ago. I remember on the way to St. Martin, he was going on and on about himself. Sort of like a Doyle history lesson. Well, my full name is Seamus Doyle. You see, Seamus was my father's name. Which is odd, because I never knew my father. So I guess I never understood why my mother would name me after him. And my mother, she was a piece of work. She once made me wash the dishes at 3 o'clock in the morning. I mean, she could cook like nobody's business, but the smell... She once caught my sister kissing this guy, stapled her dress shut. But... That boy could talk. I think that's all the questions I have. Everything you said is important. There's a lot of good we can learn from this. Sergeant Hartsock, you should get some rest. Still got miles to go before we rest, sir. That took a while. I've got a lot of my mind, Sam. Name and rank. Corporal Sam Corian, sir. How did it go with Corner Marshal? Oh, you know. I talked to Zero. Yeah, me too. You, you know, we should write a book. Baker and Red. Through hell and high water. Why not Red and Baker? Because I made Sergeant before you did. Fair enough. If we ever get back to England, I'm buying you a whiskey. I like whiskey. <laughs> 